Right, I'm here with my boss and chief executive of Leeds Rhinos and also a former player, a Leeds lawyer, Gary Etherington. Uh, Gary, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the aftermath of the epic event, the last stand that happened last Friday night when we played St Helens. It was an unbelievable occasion and I think with the build-up, you couldn't have scripted it any better for a, a final finish. Now, it was a real battle on field and I've got all the scars to prove it, but it was a fantastic occasion for the team, the fans and everybody involved, wasn't it? It was, yeah, I mean, it was a really unique occasion because uh, very rarely, especially in sport, uh, does everything go to script. Yep. <laughs> uh, there, there was so much planning and effort went into the whole preparation, you know, the flags, um, the parade, the invitation to all the former players that came along, uh, uh, Lizzie Jones, and uh, so uh, everything meticulously planned uh, to the running order was... To scripted to the second and uh, having all done all the planning uh, you then hope yep. you hope that people turn up yep. you hope that the crowd turns up you hope that the weather's good yep. you hope that it's a good match and you hope that you get the right result uh, and so as we can now look back everything went absolutely to perfectly to plan it was a gripping game uh, it was a great result for the Rhinos and uh, and everybody who came to the occasion, I think, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, a, a tremendous f uh, fitting uh, farewell uh, from Lizzie Jones. Uh, time to say goodbye. Could we have thought of a better song to bring the South Stand to a close after 81 years? So, yes, uh, last Friday was one of those very special Headingley nights. Uh, we've had quite a number uh, over the last decade or such, but that was a very special occasion. It'll live long in the memory of everybody that was present, the 16,500 fans that were wow. present, including all the St. Helens fans, and I think they really appreciated yeah, yeah. it. And well, it was a terrific rugby league occasion and befitting of a great stadium like Headingley Carnegie and of a grand old lady like the South Stand. <laughs> Absolutely, and we packaged it up really well, Gary, and that was the purpose, to remember the history and the heritage, to say goodbye, but now it's all about the future, and that's what we're concentrating on, the next stand, the next facility, the big building that's going to inspire that next generation to come on and see the narrative, the stories that are played out here at Edinburgh Stadium. And that's what we're focusing on now, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, it, is, it has been like a bit of a death in the family. We've lost the South Stand, but yes, but we're going to gain uh, an even better facility. Uh, and of course, the South Stand is, is a real sort of melting pot for, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a social facility. Yeah. You know, it's a generations of families who stood on those same spots in the terrace. Uh, we've got a lot of young people in the South Stand. We've got a lot of older people in the South Stand, a lot of uh, families families in the South Stand. Uh, the natural journey, of course, is for youngsters to start out supporting Leeds Rhinos in the South Stand. Eventually, they get to an age where they actually can't stand for yeah. two hours. <laughs> and people, and then that, they migrate then to the main stand or the Carnegie Stand. They take a seat. Well, of course, in future years now, they're going to be able to remain in the South Stand, Absolutely. albeit in the seats at the back. So we're retaining pretty much the same terrace as we've got now with the new terrace uh, much better amenities of course and then we're going to have the seating at the back and the people that, that who's going to be on those terraces are going to be just the same people right just the same people so uh all the young fans that we've got the older fans the the, the full mix the five or six thousand fans who come every week and stand on the south stand it's going to be them and of course it's those people that's made the atmosphere and created the south stand for what it is it's the people that creates the atmosphere and they will create just the same atmosphere all in albeit much better facility going forward. We talk about your age there and different stages of that rugby league journey, Gary. Now, the people that built the South Stand, I believe, were Coopers from Unslit built, Unslit they built, the Featherstone Ground built, the South Stand here at Edinley and also at Cass, um, which is obviously somewhere that you grew up watching a little bit of rugby league. Uh, they've done really well this season, but what, what do you know about the, the cast ground and your first days out watching rugby league in that stand that was built by the same people? I know, uh, and it wouldn't have taken them very long, I wouldn't have think, out at Castleford. It's no different now, is it? But yeah, I mean, I've been going on, was I going on the terraces at Castleford in 1962. Yep. Uh, and uh, and I didn't realise, actually, that Coopers, who I did know, uh, were responsible for the construction of the South Stand here at Eddingley, and yep. not a great Leeds company and still trading today. Uh, and we've got all the plans from the 1931, which is a great part of our heritage, of course. So I, I didn't realise that they were also involved at Featherstone and at Castleford. 
Castleford, which of course is where I was brought up. That's where I learnt my rugby league and we used to go on the terraces at uh, at Weldon Road as it was and Post Office Road at Featherstone. Yep. And for that company to be involved in uh, in all these local rugby league clubs is uh, is a terrific part of our history and heritage. And the fact that they're still going is uh, is, is marvellous and they're very much, uh, as I say, a part of us. And uh, I heard recently as well, it might be a story for another day, but they the, were the first out injury calf. Was it the first time you, you met Kath Etherton on the rugby league stand as well? Uh, the first out was watching the game? Well, actually, Jamie, it was here. Was it here? It was on the paddock before we put these seats in, yes. A little bit further in the tunnel, actually, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, it was a, a Leeds A team game, Leeds versus Bramley A team. Wow. And I came uh, with my best mate, Steve Ferris, who was playing for. Bramley that night right. and Kath's younger brother Stephen was playing for Leeds so oh. she'd come along with, with Leeds and of course uh, we got chatting on the terraces and uh, must have been love at first sight and, and what more romantic place to be Absolutely. than Headingley Absolutely. and of course we've been married for 41 years now so it's uh, it stood us in good stead.